important when we consider the role of testosterone and diabetes, which type of diabetes we're referring to. Men with type 1 diabetes, which is usually the younger onset diabetes that requires insulin treatment, would not be considered at being at increased risk of having a low testosterone level. Men with type 2 diabetes, however, the diabetes that's usually maturity onset and often associated with men being overweight or obese, is more likely to be associated with a low testosterone level. And in some studies, perhaps one in three men may be at risk of having a low testosterone level. What's important to understand, however, is that we're not certain which one causes the other. There are studies that suggest that low testosterone levels may increase the man's risk of developing diabetes. On the other hand, men with diabetes, particularly if they're overweight, are more likely to have low testosterone levels. The best way for a man with type 2 diabetes to prevent a low testosterone level is in fact the same way that you would advise him to treat his diabetes. We know that optimising your weight, regular exercise and keeping your sugars well controlled is likely to improve your testosterone level. Having said that, if a man has a separate diagnosis where he has a pituitary or a testicular problem, that's a different issue and that should be treated on merit. However, we know that in many men with diabetes, their low testosterone level probably relates to exactly the same factors that cause their diabetes, that is diet, lack of exercise and being overweight or obese. Men with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes are also at risk of other male reproductive health problems. The most common of these would be erectile dysfunction, but others that occur are retrograde ejaculation, balanitis, infection of the head of the penis and low libido. Importantly with regard to erectile dysfunction, we know that keeping your blood sugars well controlled, not smoking and making sure that your blood pressure and your cholesterol are at optimal levels is important in preventing the development of erectile dysfunction. Thank you.